We have Shreyash Devalkar, is uh, head of equity at Axis Mutual Fund, uh, to take us through what he's making of things. Shreyas, good morning. Great to have you with us here. Thank you for your time. Prashant Desai. So just take us through, uh, if anything has changed here in the market, a bit of caution uh, over the last couple of days. Uh, what is it on account of? Have you seen any change in inflows that mutual funds have been getting, Shreyas? You would get a daily sense. Or does that remain as intact and steady as ever? Uh, or, or this is just a, some global nervousness and foreigners selling. I was looking at figures month to date. You know, foreigners have sold some 29,000 crores in cash. Locals have bought about 27,000 crores. So almost sort of, you know, dollar for dollar, rupee for rupee, however you want to look at it. Uh, your sense, Sir Shreyas? Sure. So, yeah, as you're highlighting, it is a combination of multiple things. So first, let's go back to the fundamentals here and uh, and uh, uh, probably uh, valuations. Uh, so if you look at the, the way result season has panned out so far and uh, subsegments of it, uh, then what we have observed is the result season so far has been in line more so uh, rather than uh, any surprises. Normally, what happens is when the multiples are high, say especially if there are upwards of uh, 40, 50, 60. At that time, either you would need a story to expand further uh, from one orbit to the next orbit, so to say, or you need continuous uh, upgrades in the earning. Uh, at this juncture, in this result season so far, actually the upgrade in earning is not seen much. Uh, though the earnings growth is in line, uh, I don't think there are much disappointments per, per se, but lack of uh, 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 broad-based upgrades is definitely one challenge which market fades uh, when the multiples are uh, relatively high. So that definitely is one of the key elements which is more fundamental in nature. Uh, when you talk about uh, the uh, the global factors and apart, uh, among those definitely uh, the US uh, remains the key factor. Uh, so the expectation of uh, immaculate uh, disinflation to recession so there is uh, there is a, a, a dichotomy in this and that's where uh, entire uh, sentiments around this are changing uh, with every data point which comes from uh, from us uh, for our market especially what matters again on the fundamental side is uh, if there is a recession or a sharp slowdown, then definitely a part of our economy, part of our indices, uh, their earning growth definitely depend on the U.S. because most of our exports, especially on real estate spaces, uh, is to the U.S. or the associated economies. And that's where uh, that part uh, definitely has some impact on on the on the market as such uh, as far as domestic flows are concerned uh, actually they have been uh, one of the highest uh, every month after a month and actually almost 20 25 percent of financial saving is actually coming to uh, the, the equity if you count everything not only the mutual fund uh, but the mutual fund insurance and uh, and direct equity and so on so if you count everything then actually it is a sizable amount uh, probably uh, when it comes to that amount or uh, as a percentage of overall saving uh, that number uh, is very high now so absolutely obviously one may not expect too much correction but to, to expect that it will keep on increasing on that is also uh, one of the challenge uh, which may come in their term and what we have observed is that uh, when when the uh, there is a based on again the historical uh, observation that when the returns are great uh, on a one year basis then the flows are normally good and when the returns on one year basis they turn flat issue negative then it has an impact on flow so till now we, we are not in that situation but generally the flows have impact of uh, fast returns Mm, okay. Shreyas, uh, hi. Good morning. Good to have you on the show today. So just uh, take us through the strategy from here on. I mean, for all the incremental money that you're getting, and there's no stopping that, right? Because investors are still piling up uh, funds into mutual funds. So uh, from a sectoral standpoint, uh, say, are you still comfortable buying uh, the economy-facing themes, whether it's capital goods or whether it's defense, etc., manufacturing? Uh, despite the run-up? Or are you looking at newer ideas where we haven't seen a run-up in prices, say maybe banks or perhaps FMCG? Uh, what is the portfolio stance incrementally from here on? So, uh, uh, again, going back to the earnings season so far and the management commentaries so far in multiple sector and sub-sectors so in this. Uh, generally, uh, if I go back to one of my comment on the US and their uh, recession or sharper slowdown, uh, in that scenario, 
our stance has been that uh, we are we have been cautious on exports uh, may it be it services or it may be through uh, another uh, uh, capital goods export or, or, or auto ancillary exports so broader segment of exports is what uh, we would be cautious on while when it comes to opportunity definitely the industrials and the capital goods part of economy continue to deliver great numbers uh, quarter after quarter month after month after for now almost 14 15 quarters and these uh, numbers are definitely superior than the broader market uh, because of that obviously the multiples have reached uh, where they are and as i commented when the multiple reach more than 50 60 uh, p then you need a orbit change or you need a continuous uh, uh, earning upgrades probably both of them are lacking and that's where probably uh, one need to be parking their thoughts or be cautious on on their on that side uh, definitely as you highlighted on the other side of the market so there are three segments where the, which has not seen substantial re-rating. One is, as, I, as you highlighted, FMCG, private sector banks, and uh, and thirdly, IT. It has got related, but uh, re-rating is not substantial to the, compared to the broader market. So we need to identify uh, opportunities among this. this. Uh, what we have observed is, again, going back to this result season, few things uh, probably have changed on the consumption uh, as far as management commentaries are concerned and the earnings are concerned. So after a long time, of uh, after, after a gap of almost three to four, Four quarters actually consumer uh, discretionary or or consumer electronics consumer durable this pack has uh, has uh, delivered uh, good numbers in in this quarter with 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 good commentary so far uh, the another observation uh, is also about rural india so probably few quarters ago out of 10 companies across the board right from fmcg to two wheeler uh, if uh, probably one or two or three used to call out that yes uh, uh, it is bottoming out and there is change in trend but now probably in this result season when you get to the management commentary then out of 10 more than five are talking about this so that is also there is some subtle change which is observed uh, in the management commentary and that's where one need to also uh, focus and evaluate this uh, into further detail so there are changes so whenever when it comes to risk reward definitely the risk reward has to be found out in the places where there is earning uh, where the uh, e relating or the price to book relating has been lower so out of this this pack definitely uh, uh, when they to dive into more incrementally all right okay shriyas appreciate you joining and thanks a lot for joining and giving us your view on the markets as well as on all the sectors we discussed by the